pods, push rods, eight minutes. So, pod design. Here is the one I've just pulled from the mold. Now the vacuum bag, sorry, so it's secured. It is a slightly different design, it's a more ergonomic design. The last one, um, the wing mounts on the new design are a lot smaller. They're actually internal, not external like this one. Because as you can see with these wing mounts, these bolts are a little long as I'm trying this new design out, but it's actually completely epoxied in with alloy threads and still got room for ballast and push rods. Obviously this design is a lot better than this one. This one's just sort of a proof of concept to make sure I can get the ballast and the push rods in the boom, which seems to be something that a lot of people struggle with. So the pod can be a lot smaller, it's sort of curved down around around. Yes, pretty keen, I can actually layer it, layer some more carbon fiber over the top, rebag it, once it's dry, take that section off, then cut this section out as you can see where it's black. This section here is open, that's part of the mold, not the actual the part that I'm molding, the actual pod. But yeah, this will sit a lot nicer. Like that, essentially. And then we'll just have a little carbon cover hatch that we'll just slide on. Don't mind the rain, I should try and enjoy it. So this is my here, the push rod actually comes out of side of the boom, which I figured would work pretty well. I haven't actually tested this yet completely, but it seems to work and it will work. Whereas the new design, if we have a look over here, this is how quickly we innovate here, is a bottom mount. Now I need to trim that down still, that's just gluing in, in place, but I'll trim that down. It'll be a lot more hidden, a lot more cleaner, aerodynamic. Pretty annoyed when I took the tape off, but peeled some of the tissue with it, but that's an easy repair. Structurally it's fine, you can see the fiberglass is still laminated fine just in there. 